Welcome back, guys, to Factorio Towns, Season 2, Episode 43, with me, Massive Dynamic. We are in the train at Forza, and we're just about to head up to right about here, where we are going to add a an intersection to our track, and we're going to add a new town, which is going to be right over here, and this is where we're going to do our actual oil refining work. So we're going to import the oil from uh, Dilly and refine it here at, in this location where we'll have to build a completely new town. And I th I've spent a few minutes in between episodes just gathering everything that I th I need to do that. And uh, I just re occurred to me that maybe I didn't put enough walls in the train, but hopefully we have enough walls get the town built we'll see but i did kind of plan the intersection from map view and at least this little piece of the rail there so that the town will come over this way and end up close to the water uh since water is required for the refining process and with advanced oil refining so i thought that made sense to put it over there instead of importing water uh, to uh, Dilly. So that's going to be our plan for this episode, is to at least get that established. If I can jump in the train without getting squished. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put it in manual mode, I think, since we're going down this dead-end track. And there. And then we can just go ahead and build our Track on this way. Let the robots do all the work. Or at least most of it. And let's see here. If we bring... Probably do the same thing with the dead end. Um, eh, right over here. We might have to get rid of a few cliffs. Uh... These are definitely going to be in the way. Maybe these, I think, it will be in the way of the refinery. So we'll get rid of those. And... I think these also have to go. They're not in a place where they would function as walls anyway, so I'm not too worried about it. And then the other question is... I think I saw some red on the map down here, and it's just three worms. So they will not bother us, so we're not going to worry about them. Which is good. Alright, so come on guys, grab. Yep, that's all good. Alright, so let's get this town built here. Get our track laid on through you know what I think I'm gonna do is just take a blueprint like this and oh, I missed that other power pool well, that's all right that way we can let the bots do most of the work for us there there And then we'll put our turnaround right there on the end of that. Oh, a little too far. Okay, good. What's that? A tree. One lone tree. Not anymore. Okay, and there's one piece of track right there. Alright, and then we can go ahead and build this track back this way. And since the train is in manual mode, we don't have to worry about it leaving us this time.
Go ahead, little robot. There you go. So we'll make this connection here. And then we'll have to grab more track out of the train. Check our radar situation. Here for sure, and where else? Do we... Like back this way a bit. Oh, we got a bald spot right over here. This should be good. Like that. All right, we have full radar coverage now, or at least we will once we make that connection to the power. There we go, it's all connected. So let's jump in the train and head down there to establish our new town. We don't have a name for this town yet, so you guys have an opportunity to get a town named after you if you would. Or suggest a name for a town. Subscribers get preference, but anybody can suggest a name. And if I like it, I'll use it. Uh, let's see the technology here. Oh, we can get house robots and yellow science. All right. So we'll just grab a little bit of everything here. Just whatever is available to us. Keep the technology rolling. I don't think I did anything that's... Maybe I did. I don't know. I didn't even look, actually. Uh, no, it's all just blue. Okay. Blue, blue, blue. Yeah, there's quite a bit we can do until... We need purple and yellow. All the way up to here. So that, that'll give us a little bit of time. Okay, so our town is going to go right here and we're going to do oil refining so we need a station which we'll just take it right here off the end of the loop and we'll build the town right here on the south south end of the loop so let's do a few signals then this and we'll add a couple here and there just for decoration purposes okay and then oh I did not build a train stop or did I and forgot where I put it that's a possibility that there, so that we can put that there. And these are just going to be uh, 1 1 trains. Don't know how many we'll have on this, but there. Okay, so this is going to be well refinery. We don't have a name yet, so that's that will do. Uh, and then we need to grab some walls. I have four walls. That's not near enough to do anything. But it can kind of give us edge of town. 
like that. And we'll go ahead and put a couple of signals there. While we're here. And I guess we could go ahead and kind of lay out the town shape. I think it can be... You know what? We're going to give it a little room here for the name of the town. Go right in that location. And that should go right up to the water like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and wall off this little section here. We'll call that the unincorporated part of the county. All right, and then we'll do this about like this. Keep those trees. And this will kind of limit the size of our refining operations, I guess. That. <clears throat> okay, so we'll leave a place for the town name right here. So we'll go ahead and put that in kind of like that. Is that all I have? I have some more. Just kind of give it a rough outline. And take that back down to size one. There we go. So if you can come up with a name that's going to fit perfectly in that box, then you win the prize. What the prize is, it doesn't exist, but uh, you will win it. Uh, so, you know what? I'm going to leave a chest right here with maybe five stacks. And we'll leave some concrete there so that we can adjust the sign later and we'll have the stuff we need to do it. Okay, and then we just need power pole to go here so that we can get... Our pump and our tank. You know what? Well, let's go ahead and get our train here on the way. So, uh, let's see. We need to go over here to uh, Dilly. And let's see. We named that one Dilly Crude. Yeah. Okay. So, you are going to be at Dilly. Uh, crude oil exports we'll do inactivity and then we're going to add oil refinery and we'll do inactivity for now too we'll get that started that way we'll have oil here to work with and I think we're going to put a second tank in here that'll keep uh, the train busy for a while filling those two tanks up Actually, it'll only take two trips, but that's all right. Uh, let's see. We need a this. And you know what? We could take water from this pond right here. Let's do that. We didn't give ourselves a lot of room for refining, but that's okay. I don't think we need to. All right. So we need two imp. Let's see. You know what? I'm going to use my. Where? What am I doing? I'm going to use my blueprint for this because why not? It's all set up and, and let's see, go this way. Which way do I want to go with this? I guess I want to go this way like this right here. Yeah, this will work. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Let's do eight of those if we have them. Uh, I'm not sure how many I have or if I have any in the train, maybe. Let's see. I think I used the one that I had in the train for Dilly. 
Uh, yes, I did. Okay, so let's see. Can I build one more? I can't. That's all right. We'll come back to it later. All right, so, oh, the pipe. There. Uh, oh, yeah, the train can't get through because this train is in the way. So let's pull out of the way. Let's see, I'm going to want to make a left turn. And park right here. That should be out of the way. All right. Now then, let's grab the oil. You know, it occurs to me that we might want to export more products. We are going to export more products from here. I don't know how many products exactly, but more than just the import station. That's for sure. And let's see, this is this. That goes there, to there, to there. And then all we have to do is hook up the water. Like that. And the power. Like that, okay. All right, so let's get this all working here. We might just export Uh, the liquid products, that might be the way to go. I don't know. But for now, we will set up holding tanks. Let's see, do I, can I make a couple more tanks? Let's see, I want three. We'll get 12 of them. I think that should be fine for now. And we can... Uh, yeah, let's do, th let's do three holding tanks, one for each fluid for now, and then we'll, we'll think about what exactly we're going to do with this later. I don't have a plan yet. So we'll get that one in there and that one in there and that one in there okay that's fine don't need that and okay there okay and there is a fourth product, which is, of course, oh, come on. Um, lubricant. So we'll go ahead and get that one. See, how do we do that? Just like that. Just to kind of make it all look the same. Make that lubricant. And add some power. And let's see, what else? So then there's solid fuel and sulfur. We have sulfur made elsewhere. So sulfuric acid can be made somewhere. We can probably, no, let's see. Can we make sulfur here? If we make sulfur, we 
can make sulfur, but we can't make sulfuric acid because we don't have iron plates. So we'll make that elsewhere. <clears throat> so this will make... Uh, yeah, just the, th just the fluids, I think. That makes sense. That makes sense to me right now. Uh, and also the solid fuel, because what we'll do is we'll take anything... We'll use a little bit of smarts here. Uh, let's see, do I want decider combinators? I'm not sure what I want yet, but I do want... I need some pumps, and I need some of these things. Uh, let's see. How many do I want? Four of those there is fine. And let's do four more. You know what? I think I have a blueprint for these two where I don't have to think so hard. Uh, yeah, like that. Uh, let me undo this. Get rid of these. And we'll use this blueprint. We're cracking. Why not? It's already set up. It's just just as easy. There, and then we can copy that and put it right. Like that. If we have enough pipe, yeah, I think we're even gonna have enough pipe for everything. Okay, great. Get that all built. So let's say that this one is heavy to light. And this one is light to gas. That. So then all we have to do is hook up the water. And take from this. Uh, let's see. Do I want a separate pipe for the... Why not? Okay, so we want... This is light oil in here, and... What did I do? Oh yeah, heavy oil is up there. Okay, so I need a couple of pumps. I have I do all right uh let me think about this I want yeah I want a pump here and a pump here and a power pole right there and another power pole right there and that's just for Connecting everything together. Okay, so. I need a bunch of red wires then. And I, I don't think I need any... Uh, combinators. I think I can just do it with circuits. Just... Uh, simple circuits. Get that all connected... So all we have to do is, I do like to connect all these tanks together so that I have a readout on them and then I can connect that. And I can always add combinators later, but for now I don't think I need them. All right, and then we're gonna have this one. We'll pump when that is Greater than or equal to, let's say, 24,000 in the tank. And then this one will be if this is greater than or equal to 24,000 in the tank. And that is the only time that we will crack anything, at least for now. Um, don't need that. So this one is the heavy oil right here.
And then we'll connect the light oil. Right here. And then we just need the water. Where's my water? So this one is water. And this one. Okay, and this connection there. Okay, and then these are going to feed, uh, let's see, pump. I'm gonna pump these. Hold on, no, this. It's actually going to connect to here. And this gas is going to connect to that gas. Mm, okay. Have to move that a little bit. You know what? Actually, I can't connect it right here. Okay, let's see here. We have... Alright, now... <clears throat> excuse me, sorry about that. Let's see, if I do... I can do this without connecting those together. Okay, so that gives me plenty of... Exportable gases or fluids. And so that's ready. All we have to do is come back with another refinery to finish that up. So I think we're going to end that episode right there and we will continue this in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. If you're still watching right now, if you're listening to my voice and you haven't subscribed yet, then why not subscribe? If you have subscribed and if you're watching my videos, thank you so much. I appreciate it so very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.